Hi, this is Paul from Wave5Trade.com and this is my Daily Stock Signals video for Thursday the 14th of June uh, where I take one of our signals from our Stock Signal service and set it up on a chart and let everybody know how to do it. So basically in our scanner Wave5Trade.com members area we have opportunities for our members to look for long fifth wave trades, short with fifth wave trades, stochastics and stochastic shorts as well. So today I'm going to concentrate on short fifth wave trades. As you can see every day there are downloadable spreadsheets. Our members simply click on the image and download the spreadsheet for the day. So let's have a look at the spreadsheet for today. We have here, I've chosen the daily time frame. For the fifth wave trades, we have weekly, daily, and six minute time frame uh, signals. I've chosen the daily time frame today. That's how many signals we've got on the daily time frame today. I've chosen one of those to set up LKQ, LKQ core on the daily for a short. So let's have a look at the chart and let's set this trade up from the signal service. So first of all, I'm using the Elliott Wave Indicator Suite from Wave5Trade.com for the Ninja Trader NT8 platform. It is also available for Think or Swim, TradeStation, and MultiCharts. For those that have our Indicator Suite, very very simple. You need to go to the highs here, around about the 29th end of January, and we get the automated wave count from our Indicator Suite here. So let's zoom in, talk about the initial filtration for our signal service and then we can go on and talk about the setup here. So very briefly, the first filter for our signal service is the wave 4 pullback. The wave 4 is pulled back and found initial resistance in our green zone. The green zone has an 85% probability it's going to go on and make a new wave low down into our automated target zone down here around about 2850. The second filtration on the data for the scanner is the 535 and this really gives us an indication how this wave 4 pullback is performing and that's pulled back between 90 and 140 percent so really really good there and then thirdly our stochastic we've pulled back against the false breakout dots here on the bottom so we've pulled back against the main bearish trend we've crossed over in the overbought zone and we're looking to return back to that main bearish trend so there's the main uh, filters for the signal service and let's just set this up now after the big gap down on earnings, we've had a gentle move back up, but we are running out of juice. This is a daily time frame, remember. Look at all these indecision dojis there. We're getting towards the the, the um, open of that gap down. That is acting as resistance. If this resistance holds, turns back down, we would see a new low, a new fifth wave low around about 28.50 into our target zone there. So very simple to set up. We've got the stop loss. Now the wave four will be reprinted when the markets open. I'm producing this video before the markets open uh, to this slightly new high yesterday. So the stop loss for this order for today is 33.29. The entry is 31.82. Now that's way below the 6.4 moving average low, the red moving average low here on our indicator suite which we use for conservative entry strategies. Uh, so we've got a nice conservative entry strategy there, 31.82. Gives us a risk to reward of 1 to 2 into our target zone there. So very, very great risk to reward while still keeping it um, quite conservative. Now, if this does eke out new highs, we will cancel the order and just readjust the stop loss uh, until we get the move back down again. Now, the entry will remain the same, I would say, uh, because we've still got a great risk reward here. So even if we get above 33.50, the risk reward is still going to be good enough with this 31.82 entry. So that's it. Keeping it simple, wave5trade.com. We've got a great stock signal service and a great Elliott Wave indicator for the Ninja Trader, Thinkorswim, TradeStation, and Multicharts trading platforms. So have a great trading day, and I'll speak to you all tomorrow.